take your shots at the end. Bradley, what's she about to do? What's she about to do, Bradley? What's she about to do? You want to say hi to my fans and friends? Bradley, say hi. <laughs> It's because she's got... Well, she don't have it out yet. Hold on. He does this every time she gets this out and runs it. Or the vacuum cleaner. Watch. Bradley likes to lick my camera. Bradley, it's okay. It's okay, big boy. It's okay. No, don't lick the camera, you weirdo. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. He looks right dead at the camera when he's doing it, too. What? What is she doing? She's not going to hurt you. It's okay. She hasn't even started it yet. And he's crying. <laughs> oh, it's okay. <laughs> Look, there's Damien. There's Dave. There's Felicia. This is Felicia in your natural habitat. And there's Bradley freaking out. What? <laughs> is this a game I'm playing right now? Oh. Say hi, Dave. You could be on my fucking face. <laughs> Grouchy. That's all she's doing and he whines about it. <laughs> he does not like the blender. He don't like the vacuum. He doesn't like the blender. Well, what it is is they got him from the pound and they think when he was in the pound because he's the runt, they did something to him. So that's why he freaks out on the blenders and stuff like that. Bradley, it's okay. But look at his tail. It's a wagon. He's looking at y'all. He's saying hi to you guys. Yeah, he is. And I'm the only one that can scratch his ears like this. The only one. And he, he's in heaven. Yeah. It's okay, big boy. He's the one I spoil rotten with doggy treats. When I got the money. I spoil him. See, he's okay because I'm I'm petting him. It's okay, big boy. She not gonna hurt you, no. No, she not. No. Say bye. <laughs> All right, y'all, here's my new tripod. That's all the way up, okay? So now, when I want to, I can use my tripod. I have my own. I don't have to do anything special. So I'm gonna pause you. I'm gonna see. Can I set you guys right there? Yeah, all right, we're gonna show you. Okay, so this is all the way up, right? So, I unclick this, close that up. And then, close that one up. Unlock that, close that up again. 
and then you got this height. Okay, hold on. Not there's more to come. Give me a second. Hold your horses. Then I do this one. Alright, so now you got that length, right? Not done yet. Got some more to show you. Hold on. I paid $33 for this off of Amazon. Hold on. And then... You got that length. Cool, huh? And it's by King Joy. No, they're not asking me to promote them or anything, but I have to say for $33, that is pretty damn good money. And it comes with where I can, if I wanted to, instead of using my camera, I could use my cell phone. And I think right here, if I got the proper stuff, I could probably put a thing here and add my light to it. But I don't know for sure. It doesn't say in the instruction what that part is for. But I'm guessing that's what it could be used for. And then here's the lock plate. That take this off if I wanted to. It has a little leveler thingy or whatever you want to call it. But yeah. And then hold up one more thing. I'm going to show y'all. You take this. Not done yet, y'all. They get shorter. That is how small it gets. So that's pretty damn cool. I have to say. So so far I like it. So far I think it's cool looking. Thirty-three bucks. Not bad. And it ain't made out of cheap metal or aluminum or whatever you, those other brands are made from I think this is going to be very sturdy and very great I could have used it yesterday from when I was at the peace circle alright y'all I love you I will see you soon love you fam and friends please like and subscribe it will mean the world to me and tell your friends, tell your friends' friends, spread the word all up to the universe. All right? Love you guys. Bye. All right, I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's the map to where we're going. And I'm going to do a little road trip here. Only reason I'm going to this place is because I don't know why for a couple weeks now I've been thinking about this place and it's been on my mind and uh, I, I've literally been thinking about it and it's, I don't know why it's been bothering me and I'm guessing for some reason something is just telling me I need to go to this place. I've been to it once with my husband. Um, I did a TikTok video of it, uh, but I, I didn't start a YouTube channel back then or anything like that when we went to it. And we did go in January, so it wasn't as hot, and it wasn't summer, so. But, uh, I don't know. I was thinking about it, not last week, but the week before, I was thinking of doing it. But I was like, no, I'll wait till the winter time to do it. But then I kept thinking about it and thinking about it. And so, therefore, I decided, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go because something's telling me I need to go. Because I was thinking about it again today. And it's like, I want to do this place because it says it is haunted. And I'll give you guys the history and stuff of it 
when I get there and, you know, stuff like that about the place I'm going to. Um, but I don't know why. I, I'm guessing it's t something that's saying you need to go to this place, Shannon. You need to do your own investigation. Um, so, I will do a spirit box there. Um, I will also video it there and stuff, but I also will take some pictures because to me, this place is beautiful. I've seen it once and yes, it was at night time, but even at night, it was gorgeous. So, yeah, the sun is still out, so I hopefully to get some of it during the day with the light up and then I'll be there when it gets dark too. So, but here's the road, but we're, we're heading to it. Um, I don't have my tripod, so I've got to be careful with these bumps and stuff on the road. But, yeah. There's many names to this castle that I'm going to. The Harabin Castle, the, I think it's the Whitening Castle or the Whitening Castle, something like that. I'd have to look it up for sure. But it's, it's, I'm not sure what the current name of it is, but you'll get all the history and all the 411 on it. Okay? But we're about to go over my favorite lake that I love going over. I don't know why it is my favorite lake to go over, but I love it. So, let me get over because I want to get a good Eight picture. miles, take exit six toward Las Vegas Trail. Okay, I got a little bit. Yeah, you heard her talking. She's telling me how to get there. But, it's right now, I don't know if you guys can see with me driving. Uh, yeah, bumpy road. It's 95 degrees right now. So, let me slow down. Because I want to get over. So that way I can get an awesome picture of this lake I love. I don't know why, but I love going over this lake. I love it. I have no idea why. I just love it. It's crazy, I know. I'd pull over and take a couple pictures, but my problem is I'm a single woman on the road. And I don't want people thinking, oh, she's in trouble. Let's go help her out. But I'm really not. I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy. If I got something to say, you better let me speak. Turn it up a new degree, bitch, you ain't seen anything. I pop off with the new rock, electronic blood. My battery's not that great, but I'm gonna walk across the street. It's safe for right now. It is private property, so I can't go onto the property whatsoever. But they do have big dogs here, I, from my understanding. So this is the castle I was telling you guys about. Let's go over here and get part of the gate. I'll show you the other part and then I'll get my phone out and get you guys the info. Yeah, you can hear my damn keys. But. Last time I heard there was a caretaker that stays on this property. Um. They do have cameras, as you can see, and I'm on camera, so hey, I'm visiting. But yeah, that's the castle. And across from there is the lake. It is totally different looking during the daytime. I'll tell you that. Alright, I'm going to pause for a minute so I can take a picture. walk down here for a bit. I'm going to hold my camera. Well, you see those birds? 
So there's something going on. And I got traffic coming, so they're probably like, oh my god, here's some more vi people looking and shit. I don't care. Ouch. And here's... This would be like, I guess, the entrance to the castle. So you come up here if you're visiting, and you go through here. So that would be the entrance, which is neat. And we're going to go down here, because I'm short, and I'm raising you guys as high as I can, because I don't have my tripod with me yet. But I wanted to get this with some sunlight. Then we're going to try to... I'm going to pause you guys for a minute so I can take a picture. Sonic proof up! I'm too honest when I take a few shots! They're too toxic! Need to take the new song! This building, from what I remember, was told this is where the caretaker stayed. So he can take care of the property and, you know, keep the grounds pretty, flowers, take care of the castle, you know, any maintenance or whatever it needed. And this is, was his gate to go to his part of the building. So, now I'm going to pause and take a picture again. You cannot save me. I don't need saving It's everything I've been chasing All here for the taking Don't want to test your luck Alright, let's go back to my car And we'll get you some info About this place Ooh, there's ducks in the water Too bad I can't go over there Because it's private property it Sucks I would love to walk over there I think it would be so cool Oh, it says no parking. But. I'd love to be able to go down there and check that out. But it says no private property, so. I'm going to tell you, they get a lot of visitors here. A lot of people hear about this castle and stuff like that. So, we are going to set up my tripod here. So, I'm going to pause you for a minute, y'all. Alright y'all, you're set up on my tripod. I'll let you guys record for a few minutes.
We'll do this one. All right. I might need to adjust you guys a little bit. Okay, so for what I have of this castle, quick facts. Construction on the property dates back to 1860. Okay. Since the 19th century, people claim to have seen a woman in a white dress running from the property of the edge of the lake, Worth, then vanishing. Okay, well, we're not going to read that. The Runaway Bride. The story of the castle of Heron Bay begins in 1860. We're not sure who owned the land as all records were lost in a fire. But we know that he built a stone farmhouse on the property. And apparently he intended it to be a wedding gift to his betrothed. However, on the day they were to be married, the man made a tragic discovery. He found his bride to be face down, drowned near the shore of Lake Worth. To this day, her death is a mystery. Was it suicide? Did someone not approve of their marriage? Just one month later, that man married the drowned woman's sister. Not long after that, locals begin telling of a woman in a white dress running from the property towards the lake and then vanishing. No doubt this was the spirit of the drowned bride, but why is she running? Others report seeing this phantom in the house itself. One former owner of the castle recounted being awoken one night by a strange noise. When he opened his eyes, he saw a female apparition draped in a white gown hovering right above him. The woman in white is known to be fairly commonly haunting. These spirits, especially those tied to a wedding, are typically not vengeful, though the ghost sight of the woman in white might cause a fright. She's unlikely to cause any harm. The Brooding Shadow Cameron Montella lived near the castle of Heron Bay with her husband. They occasionally stopped by the castle and take the serene atmosphere. One day she spotted what she thought was a young man in one of the windows of the inhabited structure. Now she's talking about either that window or up there. One of those. Oh my god, look. Whatever. Cameron explained to her husband by the time they both turned around and looked out the window, there was nothing there. It could have been my nerves. Now the history of the castle. After the wedding day tragedy, which seems to have occurred in 1860, what records we have don't tell us much. There are few, name, few names listed as having owned the property, but very little information about them survives. It was sold to the city of Fort Worth by then the owner Oliver S. Kennedy in 1911. From there it fell into the hands of Mr. McPherson, a wealthy Irish builder. He began adding on to the original stone structure, importing stone and furnishing from Europe in the process. McPherson additions are probably the main reason why the building looks so much like a castle to this day. McPherson grew very, either grew tired of the property or had a nasty gambling addiction. As at some point, he staked the property in a game of poker and lost it. The beneficiary of this blunder was Samuel Whiting, a Canadian by birth. Mr. Whiting would finish building the castle and for many years it would be known as the Whitney Castle. The Whitney years. Although the locals knows the building as the Whitney Castle, Samuel and his family called it Iverness after a famous castle in Scotland. The Irvness lies along the Nass River of Loch Ness, fame. More or later. The Whitney family had been living in Utah for some time. After the death of their second son, Richard, at age five, they were looking for a fresh start and settled into the Fort Worth area. Their bad luck would follow them. The building was alleged used as a gambling hall and speakeasy during probation. It's difficult to verify. 
but there did appear to be a secret passage that ran to the shore of the lake worth. Rumor has it that this tunnel was used to get alcohol into the castle and can double as an escape route. Not long after completing construction in 1938, the building suffered a fire. The full extent of the damage isn't clear, but it seems to have required some serious work to repair. From around 1944 to 1954, it was leased to the Vulture Aircraft Corporation, which used it as a private club and getaway for visiting, whatever. Dwight D. Eisenhower and James Stewart briefly stayed on the premise. Deep details of the full list of occupants are murky at best. One woman claiming to be Samuel Whitten's granddaughter says she lived there from 1941 through the years when it was leased to them. What we can say for sure is that Samuel himself died in 1951 and just two years later, tragedy would stop strike again. The castle curse continues. In 1953, the body of John C. Whitening, Samuel's first son, was found lifeless, still holding the 22 caliber pistol, which he ended his life. This came just a week after his second wife won a divorce suit against him, citing cruel treatment. John was no young man at that time. He was very depressed, 44 years old, insurance salesman. He, oh shit. He was very depressed, but rather in a house he owned some three miles from the property. How then does this tie into the reports of a young man haunting the castle? It's reasonably likely that John Whitney lived at the castle during his adolescent or teenage years. Even in his early 20s, he got to live the awesome fantasy of growing up in a castle. One that reported had secret passage, to passage used for smuggling booze during the Prohibition air, years. He usually could have become attached to the Whitney cat cell. At the time of John's death, he was twice divorced, middle aged insurance salesman. His child years were like a fantasy as he aged. He must have pined for those enchanted younger years. This writer doesn't doubt that John's soul, upon his passing, might have reverted to a time and place where he was happy. Alright, I'm um, not reading no more. That's it for that, y'all. Okay. Now I do have the EMF reader going and so far it's not been going off. Um, it is early so we'll see. But I wanted you guys to use my tripod pretty much. <laughs> I won't lie. <laughs> I wanted to use that. But there you go. playing with it y'all now I'm gonna turn you guys around for a minute and let you get this beautiful lake I'll pause you guys for a minute with me I think I've had enough disease I'm sick of all the bad thoughts people who are half done you are not as tough as <laughs> Alright, yeah, there's quite a bit of traffic coming around, so we're going to do this. Um, trying to decide, do I want to wait till it gets a little darker to do the spear box? I think I will, so I'm going to pause you guys for a little bit, and I'll be back soon. Love you. Got low battery. But I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of spare box. And I'm going to have you guys facing the lake. Um, I did turn the necrophronics on. I don't know if it's really haunted. This is just stories that have been told about this place. 
So if there's anything out here, any spirits that would like to talk, the runaway bride or Richard, any of you guys, any of you spirits that are here that want to talk, I mean you no harm, no disrespect, I come at peace and I would love to hear your story. Come talk to me if you guys are here. Any spirits? I mean, you no harm, no disrespect. I see why you guys love this place. It's beautiful. Boy, people are coming up. Google goggle, whatever you want to call it. That means because I'm out here. Whatever reason for the runaway bride, I would think she would ran around through here and got in the water. I don't know if she knew how to swim or not, but this lake does get full and rises, so. Let's look at the castle now. I don't have you guys as high up right now. If there's any spirits here, you can come up to the meter and make it light up. I can wait till it's dark if you guys want. You can come whisper into my camera, I'll hear you. people on the boat. I heard screaming and I'm like, what the hell? I'm going to see if I can get them. I don't know if they're coming this way. You can see that. There they are. They're having fun on that lake. <laughs> okay, focus camera. Alright, I'm going to pause the spirit box for now. We'll wait till it gets a little bit darker.
and see what happens then. If any spirits are here, come light this up. Come touch the meter, make it go orange. I would love to get closer to that lake. Our main ca thing is the castle, so. But, alright. As you can see, it's getting kind of dark because the lights are coming on. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me see if I can zoom in. That building right there. Kind of looks like it's part of where it got burnt. Caught on fire. I might have to change my battery sh soon, but... Alright, I'm going to take you, stop you guys and switch to tripod to my uh, gimbal. They're having some fun. I have to use my other little gimbal because I forgot it at home like a goof. I thought I grabbed it, but I didn't. I don't know why. I just... Having fun. Alright, you guys. Now this meter is going off a little bit here. And it takes a lot for it to go off, so this is not something just because the wind's blowing. It's going off. And it's not because of my phone, because it's not near my phone. And it's not because of the speaker. Sorry, can you see that? I have it sitting on the back of my trunk of my car, and it's been kind of going off while I've been playing with the tripod. Boy, they're having a heyday. I would never be able to do something like that, y'all. I'm going to tell you right now, I'd be too damn scared. Falling off and... <laughs> I mean, I can swim. Don't get me wrong. I can swim. But that's just something I couldn't do. Any spirits are here, you can set off my meter. Make it go orange. Whew. I'm not going to be able to stay out here much longer. All right, you guys, it's getting dark. 
We'll stay here for a few more minutes. Then we're going to take off and go back to the house. You guys, I took quite a bit of pictures here. So, and the EMF reader's not been going really off, as you can see. Last time I was out here, the dogs were out here. I don't even see the dogs. Just to give you guys a general idea. Private prodding, property, hunting, fishing, trapping, or trespassing for any purpose is strictly forbidden. Violations will be prosecuted. Private property. So just to give you guys the gist. And I'm about to take off because it's getting dark and mosquitoes are going to come out and eat me alive. And that's not going to happen, but... I just wanted to come out and do this. So. It's beautiful out here. There's people coming, and I was going to leave a sticker somewhere, but I don't know where. But let's start the car up. Get the air going. Where did they go? Oh, there they are. But that's the castle at night, Tom. if I can get it. Uh, maybe not. It's too blurry to do that. But up there, there's a red light on. I'm assuming those lines are because of the purple. The lights are on. Yeah. It's 8.47 p.m. Alright, you guys. I'm going to take off and head back home. Thank you for coming on this journey with me. I love you, family and friends. Please like and subscribe and tell all your friends and have your friends tell your friends and friends tell their friends and their families. Tell the whole university, please. I really am trying to get up there, you know. So all the like buttons will definitely help me. All the subscribers I can get will definitely help me. I'm at 37 subscribers right now and I'm trying to get all the way up there to 1,000. And I need 4,000 watch hour time. And I'm not even close. <laughs> so. I love you guys. Thank you for coming. Please like and subscribe. And tell your friends. And make sure. If you hear something in my video. That I didn't hear. Leave it in the comments for me please. 
any comments places you would like me to go that's in Fort Worth Texas let me know and I'll go do it I'm here for you guys too it's not just what I want to do it's what you guys want to see too I just want to point out that building over there that is where my husband works That's the building. And then over here, you'll see where I work in a few minutes. Yeah, I know. I said I'll see you guys later and love y'all and everything. Look at me and more crap. <laughs> this is me. This is who I am. What I do. We'll see my building straight ahead. In two miles, take exit 17 for Riverside Drive toward 17 Beach Street. Yeah, yeah. Really don't need her talking anymore. I just needed her to talk until I got to where I knew where I was going, to be honest. But you all should be proud of me. I've actually been doing a lot of driving on my own and going places on my own. So you should be real happy with me. I'm not waiting on my husband to help me. There's my job. That's where I go to Sunday through Wednesday. That's where I work. Not too far from my husband. Different schedules, but that's beside the point.